Season one of Cobra Kai reintroduced us to Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso. It's like going to a reunion and bumping into someone you haven't seen for a long time. We started off with Johnny Lawrence, the kid who seemed to have it all, the privileged golden boy who uh, was a karate champion. We find out that present day, his life is not going too great. I'd say, get your life in order. But uh, at this point, you like the meat in your fridge. Meanwhile, Daniel has become the auto king of the valley. Bonsai! Daniel LaRusso here for LaRusso Auto, bringing you specials on all of our inventory. The underdog has become a huge success. He's got a wonderful wife and beautiful family. He's going through life selling cars off of his karate uh, past. Make that which he doesn't realize is getting under the skin of his old nemesis, Johnny Lawrence. And so it becomes a little more complex in the adulthood as they navigate their own midlife crises. This guy really had it in for me. Yeah, well, you did move in on my girl. Well, she actually wasn't really a girl anymore, was she? These are grown-ass men, like, still like, well, I'm gonna karate fight you! Come on, Johnny! You wanna do this? Let's go with it. Everything changes for Johnny when he meets a bullied teen named uh, Miguel Diaz. We come in on Miguel, who's getting beat up, parallel to how Daniel was in the original Karate Kid. He's not immediately jumping the fence to stop a beating. He's more a little bit annoyed that this beating is maybe going to spill onto his car. <laughs> hey! Watch your car, man. See this guy? Eating his dinner at the Mini Mart like a bum? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are pissing off the wrong guy on the wrong day, all right? The bullies turn their attention on Johnny, and they awake a sleeping giant. <laughs> Johnny kicks all their asses, amazes Miguel, who begs him to become his sensei. Are you sure you're ready? You're going to be my karate teacher? I'm going to be your sensei. This seems to be the path back for Johnny. And then Johnny ends up reopening Cobra Kai, which creates all kinds of problems in Daniel's world. Me being Daniel's daughter has her own set of problems in a kind of love war where she's the Juliet to Miguel's Romeo on the opposite sides of these warring dojos. So Johnny brings it back. He's reluctant at first, but he actually ends up changing a bunch of these offbeat, weird kids' lives. Doesn't matter if you're a loser or a nerd or a freak. All that matters is that you become badass. Along the way, his estranged son is not so happy that he's spending all this time with these other kids while he didn't even raise him. To spite, Johnny ends up uh, working for Daniel LaRusso at his car dealership, which quickly leads to him being trained for karate. That was kind that's the foundation of my karate. It's cool. You want to stick around? Learn a few things? It all culminates in course at the All Valley Championships. It's this big showdown between Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do. Daniel LaRusso returned to the mat as a sensei across from Johnny Lawrence in the final match. And Miguel Diaz is victorious, defeating Johnny's estranged son. What seems like a huge, amazing victory turns out to be a painful experience for Johnny as well because in reclaiming victory, he's even further apart from his son than he's been in the past. I'm sorry. It's okay, man. You got what you wanted, Johnny. You won. Congratulations. And he's seen that even though he's made this positive change in Miguel, he's turned all these kids into bullies. And he, I think he realizes for the first time, maybe Cobra Kai isn't the, the right solution for these students. You don't have to fight dirty. Dirty? There's nothing dirty about winning, Sensei. No mercy. And then to add a wrench to the situation, in walks Marty Cove, AKA John Kreese, we see that this powerful character from his background is now in the picture. The real story's only just begun.